Hey guys, in this video we are going to learn how to use the WAN 2.2 Ti 2v5b model to create videos from texts and images, and more about the model. It can generate 24 FPS, 704p videos with a duration of 5 seconds. But with the WAN GP tool, we can use the model to create longer videos or extend existing videos. And also, to speed up the generation, we will be using the fast WAN LoRa and Turbo LoRa. The download links for both LoRas are available in the description. And about the fast WAN LoRa, the WAN GP already has a preset for that, which will automatically download the fast WAN LoRa. If you want to download it manually, use the download link. Once you open the link, look for this file called WAN225B Fast when full Atten LoRa rank 128BF16. Use the download button to get the LoRa. Then, about the Turbo LoRa. Once you open the link, you can find a file called WAN22TI2V5B Turbo LoRa rank 64FP16.SAFATensors. Use the download button to get it. Once you finish the downloads, let's see where we need to put the LoRas. Open the downloads folder. Then, select both LoRas and cut them. After that, open the WAN GP folder. I am using a portable WAN GP, so let's open it. Then again, open the WAN 2 GP folder. Locate the folder called LoRas and open it, then paste the files. That's it. Now, let's switch to the WAN GP tool. Let's click on the refresh button. Now we are ready. In the model selection options, select WAN 2.2 text image 2 video 5B. And there is also a fast WAN option available here. There is also a preset provided by WAN GP for using fast WAN, so we will be using the preset option, so let's leave the default option as it is. In presets, let's choose fast WAN three steps. Then, to apply the preset, let's click on the apply button. Now the preset is applied. First, we are going to create a video from text, so let's choose the text prompt only option, which is actually already selected. Then, in the prompts, we have to describe the video we want. I already wrote some prompts, so let's use one of them. Let's select this and copy it, then paste it into the prompts field. Then, in category, I will be using the 720p option. And for resolution budget, I will be using the 16 by 9 aspect ratio, which will create a horizontal video. Then, the number of frames, well, we can create long videos with this model. But from my experiments, I think the fast WAN LoRa isn't good for creating long videos. So for now, let's choose 121 frames. Then, number of inference steps. With fast WAN, we can generate a video with three steps, but for better quality, I suggest using four to six steps. Then, in advanced mode, I am not going to change anything. Let's leave the settings that come from the fast WAN preset. Now, let's scroll up and click on the generate button and wait for the result. The generation is finished. Let's play the video. Well, the result is not what I was expecting. She has three hands. Well, we can try another generation. But what I want to tell you is that the model has imperfections. So you should expect such problems in your generations. Now let's try another prompt. So let's copy this and paste it in the prompts field. Then let's click on the generate button and wait for the result. The generation is complete. Let's play the video. Well, this video looks better, but there are some smaller issues with her hands, and the bus dashboard also has some issues in it. But overall, it is a fine result. Now, let's see how we can extend this video. For that, we are going to use the Turbo LoRa, which is a good LoRa for extending videos and also good for creating videos from images. So, for extending this video, let's choose the Continue Last Video option, and we are not going to change the prompt. Let's keep this. Then, scroll down to the Advanced Mode, Click on the LoRa's tab, then remove the fast WAN LoRa. After that, let's choose the Turbo LoRa. In the LoRa multipliers, let's keep the value, and for the number of inference steps, we will use 4. Then, let's scroll up, and for the number of frames, I will choose 121, which will extend our video by 5 seconds, giving us a 10-second video. Now, let's click on the Generate button and then wait for the result. The generation is finished. Let's play the video. As you can see, the extended part looks good, but it has some motion issues. Well, I've faced similar issues before when I tried to generate long videos, and there are also some distortions. Well, we cannot expect quality like in the 14B model, so I think it may be fine. So now let's focus on creating videos from images. 
Let's choose Start Video with Image. Under Images as starting points for new videos, let's click on the Click to Upload option. A file browser will open. Then, let's select this image of a female astronaut. Now, let's go to the Prompts field. Here, we need to type about the animation we want. I already wrote something in my notepad. Let's copy that and use it in the Prompts field. So, when you are animating an image, always type clearly about the animation you want. Here, I clearly wrote, a female astronaut floating in space, she is smiling at the camera, with the Earth visible in the background. For other options, I will be using the previous settings and also the Turbo LoRa, because the Turbo LoRa is better for creating videos from images. Now, let's scroll up and click on the Generate button, then wait for the result. The generation is finished. Let's play the video. As you can see, the result is really good. Now, let's try extending an existing video. So let's click on the continue video option. Under the video to continue option, let's click on click to upload. Let's open this folder, I will choose this video. Click open. Now let's type what kind of animation we want in the extended part. So I will type a woman talking about something important and smiling at the camera. And for other options, we will use the previous settings. This will add a five second extension to the video. Also, for video continuation, we will use the Turbo LoRa. Now, let's scroll up and click on the Generate button, then wait for the result. The generation is complete. Let's play the video. As you can see, it's a fine result. Yes, there are some issues. I think her face has some deformations, but it's a little hard to find where the extended part of the video starts. Well, the 5B model may not be able to create videos like the 14B model, but it does have some potential. In my experience, I think this model is better than the WAN 2.1T2V1.3B model. So, guys, try generating videos with this model and let me know what you think about it. Thanks for watching. See you soon with another video.